Hi, Coach Tom Avery here, head pro at the CTW Academy in Naples, Florida, along with fellow Academy coach Walt Lewis. Today's lesson is on the overhead smash, the least practice shot in the history of the game. So you've got to get out and practice this shot, but we're going to give you some tips today that you can focus on so when you're out practicing, you'll be able to deck it, to hit the home run with that overhead. So Walt, what tips do you have for us today? Okay, well, first of all, as, as you've said in some earlier videos, Tom, uh, footwork is obviously the, the key. You've got to get yourself in position to hit the overhead, maybe even by taking more steps than you think you're going to need to get there, it's much easier to take that last step in at the ball yeah, rather than, I, than go back. I totally agree with that because I think because the lob is hit slowly, our bodies tend to react like the ball. Exactly. The ball is hit slow, we think we have all day to exactly. get ready. Exactly, we think we've yeah. got forever, you're right. Yeah. And so once you've got yourself in position with proper footwork, then a couple of little tips that have really helped on generating some easy power on the overhead. The first would be, for me, I visualize a shoulder tilt. First thing I do is I get that back shoulder Show tilted. That from the side a yes, bit. just a, well, a slight, it doesn't have to be dramatic down here, but it's just a subtle shoulder tilt because what that does is it sets you up for two good things. One is you're going to be then forced to go up at the ball, the oncoming uh, overhead. And secondly, it gets you some weight transfer from your back foot to the front foot as you're going up. Some people I'll see they'll set up kind of level shoulders. Doesn't work as well. You watch the pros, the guys, they set up with a slight shoulder tilt downward of that hitting arm. Secondly, it's, in, it's crucial to get the shoulder involved. It's not all just wrist action and arm action. You gotta get your shoulder involved in the overhead smash. And a lot of people will almost face the ball or be two thirds turned to get a full turn. One thing that I often will do is when you're, a lot of people talk about pointing up at the ball, reaching up at the ball, trying to catch the ball maybe. What I try to visualize is two balls up there, okay? Two balls side by side. And I actually try to look and point at the one furthest out to the right. So if you had a ball here, well, I'd visualize another one, Tom, on this side. Okay, so. So instead of trying to catch this one, I'm trying to actually catch another one this side of it. And that, what that does is it, it even gets more rotation in my shoulder. So I'm, I'm not just pointing here and, and down, pointing over here. And then now I'm set up for just a fluid turn of the shoulder into the shot. And that's where you generate a lot of your power in the overhead is, is just simply proper timing of a full shoulder turn. Shoulder turn, yeah. Yep and trying to at least get your body weight forward. Exactly, and that's where that, that tilting back, you, you've kind of loaded some energy up on that back leg, yeah. Yeah. and now it's, that energy is being transferred up into the, into the ball, yeah. into the shot. It's similar to, Walt, almost like serving, mm -hmm. you know, like that back hip, when you come down in here, that back hip is down in there loaded, yep. right? Yep. Yep. So you can really come up into the shot. Exactly, yeah. exactly. All right, so, I tell you, I, I totally agree with Walt saying. One thing I do in particular, some players, um, you know, they like to point at the ball, let's say, or, uh, you know, they'll put their hand up like they're going to catch it. I like to point with my elbow, which helps me turn my shoulders, as Walt was saying, even a little bit more. So I get that real good shoulder turn, and then I'm just coming around when I hit. So, um you know, that's personal preference, mm -hmm. right. whether you want to point at the ball or, you know, like you're catching the ball with your hand or point with the elbow. The key here is get the shoulder turn. Exactly. And yeah. so when you're out practicing the shot, whatever comes easiest for you yeah. is what you want to do. But you definitely don't want the open stance, the, you know, the chest pointing at the ball right. or opening up too soon. Opening up too soon, uh, yeah. That just, it just saps all kinds yeah, of power from the shot. you definitely don't want to be facing the net <laughs> when you're hitting an overhead, mm -hmm. right? You've right. got to turn. Yep. So we'll demo those for you now and you can take a look at it in slow motion. All right, here we go. All right, Tom and I are going to demo some of the overhead smashes with the, uh, the setup we just talked about. And got two balls to, to show that for me, focusing on not the ball to the left, but the ball out to the right is what I'm, 
I'm lining up on that ball to try to almost catch it. And that will provide more shoulder rotation, which is what we're after. And so I'm looking out at that, the ball furthest to my right. And again, it will help me get that, the turn of the shoulder, which is really crucial on the overhead smash. Okay, watch here in slow motion as Walt does a nice job of moving the feet, number one. He's setting the feet up, taking those small little steps. He's getting good shoulder turn. Notice there, and that rear shoulder is down. Makes him go up at the ball. Again, good footwork. Sets up. He's got that left hand up like he's catching the ball. Remember, this is the least practiced shot in the game. you got to get out there and practice this shot. Okay, again in slow motion. The only difference here really is, you know, I'm pointing a little more with my elbow with the left arm. I've got it, for me, it helps me turn the shoulders even more. So if that works for you, that's fine. The bottom line is move the feet, get the feet set up, turn the shoulders, get that hitting shoulder and the rear hip down in there so you can explode into the shot. Well, thanks for watching. Use those tips. Hit that home run with the overhead. <laughs> Right. So, yeah. so when you're out practicing, we all know it needs to be done on the overhead. Work on that shoulder tilt, pointing up to the right of the ball so you get much more shoulder rotation. Absolutely. Or use Tom's tip of the, of the elbow point. Either way, it's going to work. And one other thing I'd like to mention is that when you're practicing these overheads, go for the home run. You know, really air it out. Just swing and don't be too concerned if you're making errors or mistakes. The bottom line is when you get that overhead in a match, right, Well, you want to be able to go for it. You know, most of the time, not on every overhead, because if your opponent hits a great lob, you know, you're trying to keep the ball mm -hmm. deep and in play. But most of the time, you're going for the home run. You're trying to end the point. Correct. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And if you want my free forehand, backhand, or serve course, Check the link over here or in the description box below. And also, please check out our new website. Lots of new content and new features that I think you're really, really going to like. So check it out. So all the best from Naples, Florida. Okay. Thanks, Walt. My Appreciate pleasure. It. Enjoy your time on the court and uh, look forward to next time. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Take care.